Hey, what's going on guys, check it out. So today I got a new toy and I wanted to show you guys and that's literally all I wanted today. But anyway, I wanna show you guys this new pedal I've been waiting for. It's the MXR Vintage Bass Octave Pedal, mini pedal by the way. So I've been representing this company for the past couple years, not only just effects pedals, but strings, guitar strings, uh, straps, cables, you name it. But anyway, I've always adored their products and I've had a vintage no, I've had an octave pedal before, but it's an octave and a fuzz. It's a little bit bigger, it's a gold pedal, it's a little bit bigger. The fuzz is, is absolutely amazing on that, so you can get like an overdrive type of sound with this. But then I was waiting for a smaller version of an octave pedal, and here it is, the vintage octave pedal. I mean, this thing has two levels of octave. So as you see here, you have the first octave and then you have the second lower octave. It's like a subby, it's just crazy. It'll blow you away, trust me. And then you have a dry signal here and that's what I love about it as well because sometimes I like to bring my dry signal of my bass in because sometimes the octaves can be a little bit overpowering, just a little bit, but if I want a little bit more clarity, I can bring that dry signal up and they even thought about that ahead of time so they added this mid switch to add just a little bit more clarity so it wouldn't be so subby or bottom heavy or just so much bass and they added that mid switch so you can go ahead and push that to uh, initiate that mid range so i played around with this pedal a little bit when i first got it and it was so much fun i could not put my bass down i mean literally all day long i was playing octave bass lines all day and it's so much fun i ended up recording a cover or a bass line you guys may remember it <laughs> Um, but it tracks so well, uh, and that's one of the things that impressed me the most about it. It just tracked my bass. It just tracks so well, and sometimes in some octave pedals, you know, it kind of lags just a little bit in order to track your notes. So yeah, you guys can see how much fun that can actually be. So with that particular clip, I use the octave, the first octave, and I use just a little bit of the second octave. I didn't want to overpower it, but I'll show you guys exactly what this sounds like. So this is the octave without the dry signal. That's without the dry signal, so I'm gonna bring the dry signal up just a little bit. See how that brings up that clean dry signal? I mean, I just love that along, combined with the first octave. So now I'm gonna bring in that second octave. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that second octave sounds like. So here's the second octave here. Get ready. Cover your ears. <laughs> Woo! So you see how crazy and how subby that second octave is and then combined with the first octave and then the dry signal, you just have this huge tone, this huge sound of this vintage octave. I mean, it's just crazy. You can set it to however you want. And for me, I like to add just a little bit of that sub, just for me. I like to add a little bit of that second octave and maybe the dry signal, maybe halfway, well, dry signal halfway and then the first octave, maybe a little bit there, something like that. <laughs> So that's a little bit of how the vintage bass octave pedal sounds. I mean, check it out, guys. Check it out for yourself. The link is going to be in the description. Um, that's really all to it. Actually, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. I completely forgot the mid switch. Let's check out the mid switch, what that does. So we're going to push that mid switch. Well, you know what? Let's hear it without it. Mm -hmm. 
at the mid switch. Without. See how it adds a little bit more of that mid range and a little bit more clarity to the notes, a little bit more punchier. Okay, so that's what that mid switch does. I mean, just, just an all around great pedal. And then the size of it is just ridiculous. Like I said, I love being able to just throw these in my case, uh, not have to worry about the size of them uh, and a whole bunch of big, large pedals that I have already. And I didn't want to add any more weight or any more space to what I travel with already. So these mini pedals are awesome, amazing. Go check it out. Like I said, links are in the description. Um, I think this is around 150. Um, not a bad price at all for this sound and this tone. Um, but I'll put it on the screen too, exactly what the price is. So go ahead and check that out, guys. You won't be disappointed. This pedal stays on my pedal board. It's amazing, all around great vintage octave pedal. Link's in the description. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you're new, hit that red subscribe button and then hit the notification bell icon so you can get notified of everything that I post. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.